The story you are about to read might feel familiar to you. You may be someone who has lived it or know someone who has. This is a story about anxiety. I was a very shy, quiet kid that was very good and polite, never got in trouble. I was really into anything creative, like I would love whenever we did anything art related or also reading and like English literature and writing, like all of that stuff just came easy to me and it was never stressful at all. I grew up around like a good bunch of people and I have a very good family and the only problem was uh, that I grew up with anxiety, social anxiety specifically. Cry baby, idiot, stupid. I didn't know it at the, the time what it even was. I just knew that I would get easily frustrated whenever uh, I did schoolwork that was just giving me a hard time. It'd be really hard for me to just raise my hand and ask a question and, and get a teacher's help because it was that social anxiety coming in. And then I would just kind of sit there at my desk, uh, head in my hands and just cry it out. And, and I, I really couldn't control it. I tried really hard, but it just, I, I didn't know how to manage these emotions that just felt like they came out of nowhere sometimes. My anxiety really disrupted my life a lot. My comic book or graphic novel is called uh, In the Underwood, and it's about my experience growing up with anxiety and later on depression. And I took a lot of inspiration from stories that I really loved, like fairy tales. So it'd be like Red Riding Hood and Alice in Wonderland and even a bit of Sleeping Beauty where it would be hard for me to just get up and start the day and uh, I would just go into a deep sleep. And I turned my anxiety into this wolf that hounded me throughout my life. A lot of us, we deal with our own monsters, our own demons, and we're very quiet about it. And I think it's out of this fear of like, not wanting to be weak or not wanting to trouble people. For a long time, I thought that I could just power through what I felt just through sheer determination and will and that it would pass. And sometimes like feelings are temporary and they will pass, but when it's a mental illness, you need to get help for it when it starts disrupting your life. And I, I wanna get this discussion going again about not having this taboo on talking about mental illness. I, I want us to be more open with each other. And I'm, I'm hoping my book can help others be more open. I don't want anybody to go through what I went through where it was just darkness and loneliness for a long time. And uh, yeah, I just, uh, just want my comic book to maybe help even just one person. <laughs> I believe this, these group of kids are laughing at me, but it's just my mind playing tricks on me. It's just my anxiety making me think that they're just laughing about something else. It wasn't anything bad. It wasn't bullying at all. It was just, it's just all in my head because that's, that's what mental illness is. That's what anxiety is and depression. It's, it's just this thing in your head that makes you believe things are happening and people think of you this way or that way but it's it's just yeah 